still pick some more reactions from Parliament, this time around from the minority, where the former Deputy Finance Minister Kesel Atoforsin has rubbished claims by Finance Minister Ken Uforiata that the previous NDC administration looked on and did nothing about the banking uh, sector crisis. Now, speaking in Parliament after the budget presentation, Mr. Forsin said the Finance Minister failed to acknowledge the efforts of his predecessors while being heavy-handed on local financial companies. Government says the cleanup of the entire financial sector will cost the nation's taxpayer some estimated 30 billion cities. Finance Minister Ken at the presentation of the 2020 budget statement and economic policy in Parliament today said an amount of 13 billion cities has so far been spent on the banking sector cleanup alone. The minister said figures so far suggest a more robust and resilient banking sector after the revocation of licenses of some insolvent banks and a recapitalization of the industry. Mr. Ferreta blamed the Eswell NDC administration of failing to deal decisively with the challenges that confronted the banking sector. But former Deputy Finance Minister Kesel Forsen said the Finance Minister was wrong. This is a Finance Minister that often comes to this Honorable House. Present a budget statement in the form of telling story and peddling propaganda and falsehood. It is wrong for a minister responsible for finance to come to this August House and ignore what his predecessors did. The very law that they are using to close down people's investment, take down people's assets, make rendering people unemployment were laws that we initiated. What they did was instead of them applying that law in a positive manner, they are using the law in a negative way to destroy lives and livelihood. Mr. Forsen also criticized government's handling of the financial sector crisis. If I have 30 billion Ghana cities, I could as well bail out some of this bank, re-inject governance, save jobs, and get business. Oh, but that's not fair. Some of the banks were bailed out. They were doing well. How many of them were bailed out? UMB. How many of them? Have they got the, uh, the money? They have not gotten it. So it doesn't work. And even that, the question of some of the banks being bailed out, what was the processes of selecting? They selected those that are close to the administration, and kill those that they think are perceived that they do not belong to them. What is happening is that some of these business owners that have deposited an investment in these banks, you claim that you have given money to. Where is the money? Some of them, they do not have access to this money. The financial sector cleanup includes a revocation of licenses of nine universal banks, 347 microfinance companies, of which 155 had already ceased operations, 39 microcredit companies, and money lenders, 10 of which had already ceased operations, 15 savings and loans companies, 8 finance houses, and 2 non-bank financial institutions that had already ceased operations were revoked. The Securities and Exchange Commission last week also revoked the licenses of some 53 asset management companies.